I have some crafty haulage from various sources. First is Anchor Paper Express. We are lucky to have a paper company up here called Anchor Paper that makes paper. And they have, they used to have three express stores. Now they're down to one. Because like everything else, scrapbook stores especially are very, very few and far between. So, oh, there's my receipt. I did a little damage. Um, okay, so here's what I found. This was... I met my friend Mary from Tuesday morning there. And we encourage each other to spend. To not spend, but to buy stuff. But then we kind of, you know, help each other to not. So anyways, okay, so here's what I found. The gal running the show there was really, really nice. And she demonstrated anything we wanted, like this pixie spray. Um, this is really cool. This is to spray, like, on the back of your stencils or I think, I'm thinking anything maybe, hopefully. Um, so that you can put it down and do your, you know, whatchamacallit with the, the fancy, um, what am I trying to call it? What do you call it? You know, with the ink and those makeup brushes. Anyways, it'll stay put. So you don't have to sit and tape it all down. So that's cool. And she even demonstrated that. Then she... Oh, there was this other stuff. What was that? I thought I got it. There's a really cool glittery stuff. See, I thought that's what this was. Like pixie spray. Wouldn't you think it was like pixie dust? But then when she showed it, I was like, oh, that's even cooler. So whatever that powder that mica stuff is. I can't maybe Mary might remember. Alright, so then they had some clearance. They're getting rid of their Copics. They're just too expensive for the shop to keep. Plus they've got the new Alta new ones. So I think they're kind of really replacing them. So I got a fleshy color. This is was four seventy seven. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I found this from Ranger. I've got a couple palette knives knives but I kind of I really liked this one I really liked that one I thought that'd be like great especially for stencils you know because like I have one I think I have one like that and then I got a really weird one like this that doesn't work so these will be great for um, you know tastes and whatnot uh oh call it's here all right so this is so pretty this she had to demonstrate because I didn't get it but anyways I do know so what you do is you put this see this is how weird you got to tape it off which is kind of annoying I almost would wish they would have had two different stencils but it's so cool so anyways you put you have to tape it off like, look where you got to tape that. And here. So then you do your pink or your blue or whatever color. Then you turn this around and line it up where these are. And then tape these, this side off and do you like your green or whatever for the leaves. But it's pretty. alton has got some really cool ones. And then they found that one. I love that. This will be fun for gel printing too. And just card fronts. It's cute. This, I want to do this one technique that I saw um, Gina K do, and I, I've i always wanted just a cluster like this, because I don't have one. So I found that, that was cool. So it's 14 or 89 <clears throat> Their prices weren't great, but if you sign up for a Anchor Press, Anchor Paper card, you got 20% off everything. So at least you get that. So that's probably better than just having a, like a 40% off coupon. Alright, then this was on clearance. So cute. I've never seen this one from Echo Park. So I don't know when it came out. Let's see if it says. So 
2018. So it was a dollar nine, but it was 40% off. So what did it come up to? 54 cents. Hey. Oh, 54 cents. Oh, what was a dollar 59? Oh, okay. <clears throat> so those, these are 54 cents. Super duper cute. I love these. Gotta remember where I am. Forgot. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I love it. I'm not a quitter. <clears throat> She's cute with her high tops. And there's the back. So some of these I had to get two or more. Because you know how that is. Nobody likes to make a decision when it comes to their paper. Oh, see, I got two of these, too. Okay. This is really cute. And I love this, too, this uh, branding strip. Boring, but you may never know. I might need it. So I really like this, obviously. This is super cute. Look at <laughs> Committed relationship. <laughs> These are really cute. Super fun. So I got a couple of these. This is cute. I love that. <laughs> and that is really cute. So I got a couple. These would be cute to, like I was thinking of scanning them in and then enlarging it and cutting them out. And then like, um, uh, what do you call it? Laminate them. So you can have little paper clips or whatever. So I got three of those. Did I show this one? No, it's two. Oh, yeah. Oops, I got. Oh, I got a ton. Forgot. Forgot about those. Yeah, they had a ton of this stuff. Can I sew these? No. What's that one? What's the other card? One? Oh, that. Okay, never mind. So I got this. <clears throat> I drink the coffee, then I do things. Oh, I've, I've seen that before. It's cute. I love puns when they're good. Boring. I wish they would have done something. Of course, then you don't have to choose. <laughs> that is cute. They have a oops, they have a clever person working there. Or people. Scrubby could do that though, he's really good with with his words. Hmm. Hmm. Then a sticker. I should have got... Oh, yeah, there was only one. That's why. I love that. Cute banner. I wonder who the designer on this was. I think it says. These are really cute. Very cute. And then I got... Oh yeah, that's all from them. So then... Uh, last week I had... Betsy Walshewski. 
I had Betsy and Mary and another friend, Peggy, over. And we played with our gel prints, our jelly plates. Peggy and Mary hadn't done it before, and they were just, they really enjoyed it. It's so fun. And Betsy is like a uh, god at it. I mean, she just really is good with it. So um, she, Betsy had this iridescent medium and this awesome turquoise. Well, blue vert. What is it? Iridescent blue green. Blue vert. I love, I used a ton, not a ton, but I used it often. And she didn't mind, and everybody's using everybody's, so. But I liked it so much I had to get it. When I went to Hobby Lobby, of course, they didn't have the big bottle in this, so I had to buy this little combo set, which is fine. I got 40% off. So I got modeling paste, gloss gel medium, gesso, iridescent medium, and coarse gel medium. So I'm sure I'll use those with stencils and stuff. Um, so there's Hobby Lobby. And I literally got in and out of that store. Ooh, I forgot. Scrubby found me a really cool stand for my art layer. So I'll show a picture of that. Because I got that too. And that was like 75% off. And then um, Peggy's the one that um, we did the Stampin' Up cards with her and her friend. So she had a card that, that one... The one little pocket card we did, she had this awesome floral, um, well, that's weird. Oh, this is different. She had this awesome, gorgeous floral uh, embossing folder. I don't know, when I looked at this, I thought, well, that's different, but this is hers. I think, yeah. Oh, what is that one? But anyway, so she brought two cards for everybody. That she made. That's really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And then she brought... I, where did I put that? I was going to do a video on that too. She brought a trick. And I had seen it uh, not that long ago. I think on YouTube somebody did it. Where you, you can use an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper to make an envelope. And it's really cool. And then you just... Um, instead of taping it down... There's a little corner that comes over and you put the stamp on that. So it's kind of like a origami envelope. It's really cool. And here, this is this one. This is her trick where she... The blue label is actually the same punch, but she cuts it in half. And then, you know, isn't that awesome? You would never know had she not told us. So here's this. It's weird how they have the photo... Because you, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'm just being weird. I'm not. See? Isn't that pretty? So pretty. It almost looks like poinsettias, too. So, alright, so that's from Peggy from Stampin' Up. And then, oh, I had to, I accidentally got on the Unity stamp site one night. And I... Oh, I shouldn't have, but I did. Too late now. So I bought some stamps, even though I said I wasn't going to. So then that opened the door for, like, this other one I got. All right, so here's... These are really nice. Your life story. Your life is your story. I think that's pretty. They're big, though. They're nice and big. New beginnings are often... Disguised as painful endings. Ain't that the truth? There are better things ahead than you than any you leave behind. A new chapter awaits. Your life is your story. Write well at it often. All great changes are just or are preceded by chaos. Just hang in there. <clears throat> and then this one is really cute. I love this camera. And the little, inst um, what are they? Yeah, Polaroid um, sleep. Remember, you can always take another shot. Take memories, leave only fem footprints. Focus on what matters. Capture the good times. Embrace the moment, no matter how imperfect. And then this is really cool. 
Oh, I got some free stuff. The hello friend and the tags. But look at how cool that is. The cross. Oh, I love it. This, oh, I'm sorry. This is called Take Another Shot. This is My Soul Finds Rest. I write, I like this Gracie. Gracie Ali is really nice. She's done, did all of these. I like her style. Um, okay, My Soul Finds Rest in God Alone. My Salvation Comes from Him. Psalm 62 1. Saved by love, saved by grace. Rejoice and be thankful. So that's that. And then, ugh, when I was purging, I purged like a whole large priority box full of stamps. Because so I tried to sell a couple and nobody bit. And I thought, you know what? If I don't get rid of these, I'm going to start poking through them and pulling them out. Which I did anyway. So anyways, I had my one favorite stamp that, it's a big block like this. And it's hard for me. It's on a block of wood. I could take it off that, yada, yada, yada. But I had stamped a bunch out and then cut them all up because they're words that are all, you know, they're not connected. They're like words with a really cool font and then a scratchy doodle around it. So I punched, stamped a bunch out and thought, when I was going through my stuff, I thought, this cumbersome thing, I can't really stamp it very well because of my wrist, you know. So I thought, I got a bunch already stamped out. I don't use some of the words at all. Never would use giggle. I mean, who knows now, the older I get. <laughs> so I, I think I purged it. I can't find it anywhere. I think in the spur of the moment... I was all uh, like, I'm getting rid of all this stuff. I think I brought it to Goodwill. Ugh. So, when I found that out, I, of course, was thinking, ooh, I was making a project, and I thought, ooh, that'd be cute on there. I went to find it, and I searched for a week everywhere. I couldn't find it. So, guess what I did? I got on eBay. Not eBay. I went on Google. And searched everywhere and found, I didn't even know what it's called, but it's called Word by Word. Or Words by Words. Yeah, Word by Word. And, you know, like I said, it was this block, and I thought, well, if it's that, this time I'm going to pull it off the block, or pull it off the mount, and put it on the foam mount so I can use my Misty. Well, then I saw this set where they're all cut up. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's even better because then if I want one word, I don't have to sit and stamp it. Like, say I was making a Christmas card with joy on it. And i got to make 60 cards, you know. So instead of stamping it 60 times, I can just use joy. So I, it was more expensive than the rest, but I thought, that alone is worth it. So I get it, and I'm like, why are these Jenga blocks in there? I thought, well, maybe just to space it out for shipping. Well, no, girls and boys. The person cut the stamp up, and mounted them all on Jenga blocks. I don't even know how she got this on there. Like, how ingenious is that? Because this was a Stampin' Up stamp. So she must have had to either make her own labels or, um, or his. I don't know if it's a... I don't want to be sexist. Make their own labels or they... Peeled that thing apart and cut it up and then re glued it. I don't know. Either way, it's anal, but it's. I'm glad she did it. Or he did it. Or they did it. So, I'm so excited. Because look at, like, okay, here's. I never would use. Um. <clears throat> share. I mean, no. I don't know why do you do share. Um. I would probably never use. Um. Heartfelt, maybe. I definitely probably wouldn't use Giggle or, like, Funny. You know, I mean, it's just kind of goofy stuff you wouldn't use. Well, maybe. Who knows? Maybe now that I have them separate, I will. So, this was, like, a really cool find. In fact, it almost makes me glad I did throw that one away if I did.
Alright, so thanks for watching. Let me know if there's anything you want demonstrated or want. You know, if I if you want me to stamp out a card with this or use this. I mean just let me know, I'll do it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the dislike button if you didn't. Um, thanks for watching and talk to you later. Bye.